Hi everyone, my name is Mark Kwok and we're talking about my favorite things. Today we're talking about Le Labo, a perfume slash cologne slash eau de, you know, fragrance company that I'm a big fan of. Just FYI, I'm not a big fragrance guy. I know that there are a bunch of people, there's this huge fragrance community and they trade f fragrances with each other. There's a huge one on Reddit. That being said, I'm also a person that likes good smell. I, I go to malls and try fragrances all the time, owned various fragrances throughout my lifetime. And so I'm not a complete noob when it comes to this sort of world. Out of all the different fragrances I've tried, Lalabo seems to be one that I have just been consistently happy with. I've tried a bunch of their different fragrances and the vast majority of them I really like. And not only that, but this particular one, this is probably their most basic, most popular, and you've smelt it in various places. I'll tell you a little bit about that. But this Centel 33 is my very favorite scent. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter where you are, this thing doesn't get tired for me. I, I, I can't get enough of this scent. When you go into one of those nice boutiques, and yeah, obviously we can't go in these days, but back in the day when you could go into these boutique clothing shops, super kind of hip Hayes Valley in San Francisco or like Brooklyn or like a Soho type of shops in New York, there is a very universal scent that is piping through the store that I absolutely love. And it, it just smells, I don't know, high class or well thought out or like, it just smells good. And I've wondered why that smell is consistent across different stores and different areas. Is this like a specific spray everyone uses? And it turns out after doing some research that apparently Santel 33 is the scent. You know, I don't know exactly how this works, but maybe some clerk is out there and spraying every piece of clothing with this. I mean, that's pretty expensive by the way, this is not cheap. Yeah, I can't afford the clothing in there, but I can go in there and smell the scent. And this is that scent. That same feeling you get at a high-end boutique, you can have that on your body at all times. Like that's an interesting feeling. I decided to give it a shot myself and I could not be happier. This is not the only one I bought. Here is my Lilabo. <laughs> it's only three pieces here, but these, this is my collection, quote unquote, and I'm happy with each one of these. Now, this one's a little different, you can tell. I'll talk a little bit about this as well separately, but this is, the three that I have are Noir 29, another 13, and Suntel 33. So let's talk about what I like about these fragrances. The first thing is that they are kind of that perfect level of it's strong and like it's, you can smell it and it's, it's not like it just disappears immediately. It stays on your body for a while, but not overpowering. The second thing I love is their design ethos. Now you walk into a Lalabo store or you go to a Lalabo counter, it's super clean. Some would argue it's probably a little too sterile. I mean, look at these labels, right? Like it's just, career font and like that's kind of it. If you've ever been into a Lalabo store, it's like going into a science laboratory. Laboratory? And this is the image they try to bring. In fact, and when you take a look at this here, it says compounded in our lab. They put some real science behind this and maybe that's supposed to show that they're consistent or that they put a lot of thought behind the science of it all. I don't know if that's marketing or if that's truth, but the design aspect, the well, how well thought out everything is, I appreciate that from Lalabo. I also know that this is like a big part of their business. When you look at a lot of the fashion brands out there, Tom Ford is an example. Tom Ford makes great fragrances, but they also make a bazillion of other things. Lalabo really is about their fragrances. And yeah, it can take the form of candles, they make candles or the scents, but that's kind of the bread and butter of what they do. And I, I like that that's kind of the specialty for them. I also love just the scents. I don't know how people review fragrances so much on YouTube because like it's kind of hard to explain the scent of these things. But what I can say is that after trying so many of these other perfumes, colognes, fragrances out there, these smell better than the majority of things I've tried out there. Maybe that's just my taste, maybe it's subjective. Again, this is really just me telling you about my favorite things. And really after trying so many different fragrances, this has become, this brand has become one that I can trust. Like I know that the fragrances they put out are well thought and they have a scent that I'll probably like. You know, what's, what's interesting about these scents is that they're actually unisex. So I think pretty much any of their scents can go on women and men. 
And that does give me an interesting thought around like, do perfumes and colognes, like is there a real difference between the two? You know, I used to think that you need to smell manly and cologne is the way to go. But truth is that I think a good smell is a good smell. It doesn't matter whether you're a girl or guy or what have you. Well, Labo knows what they're doing. The There are a couple things that I would say are drawbacks to buying this brand. The first is that it's very expensive. Um, the the amount you get for the, for the price is kind of offensive. Like this is not a very big bottle. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce and the cost is in the hundreds. Now, is it worth that price? For this Centel, I actually think like, yes, it, it was totally worth it for me. That's why I don't have a huge collection. A lot of people get a lot of fragrances. Um, I don't really care to have a million different fragrances. In fact, I kind of like smelling similarly every day. It's just nice, but it's like, it's my scent. Um, and so having a couple is more than enough for me. And that's why it's worth the money for me because I'm not gonna get six of these. I'm gonna get one, I, you know, this was actually gifted. And then these two I purchased, but on sale somehow. One way to do it is just get a couple samples first. Just, you know, those samples actually, you can, you can use them for like a week or maybe even longer. And so if you can just give a sample for one of these and see how, how do I feel, how do I like it? It's a good way to kind of take that next step and say, hey, you know what? I want the full bottle. Yes, I'm gonna spend a bazillion dollars for it, but at least I know and I, 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 it's not gonna be a complete surprise to me. So there it is, Lalabo fragrances as one of my favorite things. Again, I'm not an expert here, but I know what I like, and Lalabo is one of those things that I do like. Especially this guy, Centel 33. There it is, so thanks so much for watching. I'm Mark Kwok, and I'll see you in the next one.